Hello, good morning and welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie and this is So Stitch So Nat. Welcome to any uh, new, sub <laughs> new subscribers uh, and anybody joining for the first time today and very well, warm welcome to anyone returning despite my absence for the last six months? No, not six months, six weeks. Um, I think my last one was July before the kids broke up for school so it's definitely been probably just over six weeks. Um, I'm in a different location today um, so the room where I used to record has now been completely decorated and, and now turned into the home office. I am now in my youngest son's room and it's really hot <laughs> as all the UK uh, stitchers will know at the minute. Um, but it's nice to have a bit of sun because we haven't had any for the last six weeks so I'm cool with it. Um, so I look like I'm melting that's why. <laughs> uh, luckily I'm at the back of the house so not as well as being at the front where I normally record. Um, I've got quite a bit to show today. Um, I have got some, notes, some notes. I have four finishes, one new start and I think about nine or ten whips to show you. I've also UFO'd something and I feel so much better for it but we'll get to that later. Uh, plus there's a bit of haul. I was doing all right for about four weeks and it all went wrong the last two weeks. Um, actually probably three weeks. Mm, yeah. <laughs> um, but I'll talk about a little bit more about that later I think. Um, so shall we start then? Uh, so the main finish that I had, which was the one that was love-hate relationship, <laughs> um, I did actually frog out. I haven't got my board. Um, so this is the, sorry it's open at the bottom not the top. Sorry about the glare. Right. Um, it's a Joan Elliott stocking. Um, that was stitching for my husband. Um, with plans of fully finish it before Christmas along with my stocking. Um, and this not too very well here, am I? Okay, so that's the stocking now complete. All beads uh, and metallic thread. Um, all the back stitch, which was quite a lot of in various um, colours. But now it's done. I do like it a bit more. <laughs> so now I've just got to have the task of turning it into a stocking. Um, which I have made two stockings before. They're okay but they weren't lined. So my plan is to maybe go back and give them a bit of TLC at the same time as make these two stockings. So we'll see. I'll do mine first because practice on mine. <laughs> Um, so that's it. The lighting's not. That's it. It's not been washed yet. It definitely does need a wash though. Um, yeah, I think. I don't know if they're actually DMC. Now I'm. Yeah, not sure if they're DMC threads or not. The beads are definitely not Mel Hill. And they're very irregular in size. Um, and that was a full kit. Um, so yeah, didn't put anything to it. Um, and that's um, made by Supplying Works Crafts Inc. And it's a Joan Elliott called Polar Santa. It'll be down below. <laughs> Um, just click on the more button um, and you'll see any show notes that I've got in there. Right. My next big finish, um, which is a sale that I've kept up with from start to finish. Um, I think I was a bit late starting it but I can't remember why. Maybe it's, I can't remember I didn't have the DMC or the fabric but I kept up with it. And that is a um, mystery sewing room cell by Little Dove Designs. Um, you can now buy the full pattern. 
Um, I know some uh, flush tubes have picked it up since it's, it's now been released. Um, I've seen various different fabrics, changing the colour of the cat, changing the sewing machine. Um, mine are all as per chart, apart from I think the pins in the sewing box up here. I didn't use black, I used um, one of the greys. Yeah, all done. I think that was a six part one. Uh, and I have a load more fabric. <laughs> um, I don't know why I did it on, did it like that and didn't cut it to size. I've got a habit of doing that lately, of worrying about the margins. Um, but yeah, this is a Zweigart Taupe 32 count Murano, um, which is what I use for all the um, La Finestral Del Tempo sal pieces. Um, in terms of what I'm going to do with it, haven't quite decided yet. Um, thought about a project bag or a, a project folder. Could frame it, could put it into a cushion, and endless choices. Um, I'm not sure I want to frame it. Maybe wall space is limited uh, in my sewing area and we'll be getting more limited. I'll talk about that later. Um, so yeah, not sure. Um, but it's gorgeous to look at. I absolutely love it. I could not put it down. Every time a part came out, I was there stitching away. <coughs> Even the black cat, which I'm not sure I used. Mm, did I note it down? I might have used anchor for the cat. I can't remember. Four or three. <laughs> I was showing, what is that number? It's not three ten or three ten skin. See. Um, Another finish that I had um, was the Saltwater Scrapbook by Lindy Stitches. If you remember from my, this is part two, um, the part ones by the Blue Flower. You can make them into one big thing or you can make individual pieces. Um, if you remember I um, was doing just the seagulls, which I'm going to turn into an ornament. It's a bit big for an ornament. But We'll see. And that's <clears throat> that's what it looks, ooh, looks like all together. Not sure how well it's going to show up on camera. Um, but I did add the word mine because every time I look at it that's all I can think of is finding Nemo and the seagulls going mine and then the memes that go mum. <coughs> So it's just it brings back nice memories, so that's what I wanted to do with it. <coughs> um, <coughs> sorry, my drink's over there. <coughs> and you're sort of on a I'm sat on a high rise bed. Well not high rise, but like mid rise. So camera's fully extended as well. Might have to uh, edit some, do some editing today then. Right. Um I think next we'll do sampler book. Um, had a bit of a love hate relationship with this letter, and I don't think I quite finished. Had I finished I last time I saw you? I might have done actually. Um, if you've seen on Instagram, you'll know my dilemmas with this. So that's I. I can't remember if I finished that last time. I think I might have done. And then I had J to do. But there's a few issues with Jay. So the only stitches that are technically in the correct place are Jerusalem uh, and those tiny black stitches up there. Yeah, I don't know what went wrong, but it all went, <laughs> it all went wrong. And I tried to fudge and I got down to the bottom and I was like, mm, this might not work. Um, by the time I'd realised what had gone wrong, it was do I carry on or do I rip it all out? I obviously went for the carry on and kept fudging and fudging and fudging, um, which means that I've got this whole 
thing is slightly smaller than this one so it doesn't come down as far but I've now started I'll show you that in a second the letter K so I think I'm going to see how they look next to each other um, because when you make the book up only put a few stitches in this at the minute um, it's not going to be a good example but Oops. so that will be on the page next to it because you join them here so depending on how they look sitting next to each other, I'll decide what I'm doing with this. Because um, the other issue I had with the smaller letters in cross is I ended up doing the R, O and S's one stitch bigger than they should have been. Yeah. Um, so that's as I say, Jerusalem and those tiny stitches there, six stitches, they're the only ones that are in the right place. Um, we'll see, we'll see. I mean I was happily stitching away, I just didn't realise I made a mistake because um, if you look closely at the pattern there's black and then there's a band of the like, brassy goldy colour in each corner and I've not got it in any of my corners. So now I've sort of just squished everything together. Um, and I've literally just pulled this out this morning because I hadn't pulled the colours for this until last night. That's my start on K. Sorry for hanging friends, but like I said, I was doing this this morning. Not sure if you can hear that. That's the husband watering the garden. <laughs> um, it's about 20 to 10 in the morning here. <laughs> Don't blame me. I'd rather get out there when it's nice and cool as well. Um, uh, I'll show you my big piece, which is my um, evening in the park. looks like this my chatelaine so I'm literally around here at the minute uh, I am beading and using the metallic thread as I go I've got it on a Q-snap um, using ninja ninja needle it'll be down below um, uh, the ribbon method of just tucking your fabric in um, and I haven't got a clamp for my uh, Lowry stand uh, so the top tip that I picked up was just a rubber like latex rubber glove just put that between this and the um, clamp and it'll keep it still and it does work a lot better than it wiggling around um, so that is where I am up to At the minute it's quite it's quite therapeutic doing all this because I'll put the beads in afterwards but it's quite blocky stitching um, and the only variegated thread that's in there at the minute is this, that one going around the edge there which I substituted um, if I was going to make a choice again I probably wouldn't have picked that colour that's fine it, it does work um, and I absolutely love um, Joe from Lucy Stitches videos on kitting it up and getting started um, I think if I'd had the time when I did start this exactly well she would have done it way better than me, but, um, how I would have looked at it and I have used um, Nadzek Stitches uh, video as well quite a lot um, however I decided to kit it up myself um, 
give them the choice again I wouldn't do that um, and I just opted to keep the cost down after spending all the money on kitting up myself and having excess of it quite a lot of stuff um, and having to make a few substitutions um, I used a 32 count country vintage mocha Murano um, I was going to do it on the plain side um, but then decided to put a little bit more texture into it um, but yeah this is my like quality relaxing time stitch um, generally tend to do it when I'm by myself and not watching well I will be watching TV but <clears throat> not film night on a Friday but actually I did do this film night on a Friday because like I say it's blocky stitching here so it's a little bit easier just to sit down and do it um, but yeah really, still really loving it um, I haven't decided which next Chatelaine yet um, but it's going to be quite an investment so um, I think it's going to have to it's going to have to be a Christmas or a birthday um, present buying <laughs> excursion um, and I, I think European cross stitch might have got some of their delivery times down um, but I haven't checked that out yet um, right so should we go for the rest of the whips? <laughs> um, I picked up my friend stitch again which looks like this by stitch area on Etsy. I'm not sure if this is still available, so apologies if it's not. Oh. Got to remember where it was last time you saw it. I think it was part way through the cup. I think I've done quite a lot on this. So I think I'd started on that. I uh, hadn't done the back stitch or the black work on there. The lamp was in. So literally I've come down all of this side. So yeah, got a little bit obsessed with it. And decided that I'm going to put it down before I get sick of it. <laughs> Um, and the reason why that Miss Miss Chang Bing, I think it says, is part stitch is because that's where the edge of the cue snap was. Um, and obviously couldn't be bothered to move it. Um, I've took it off for now because um, I needed the cue snap for another project. And that just lives in my canny little fox travel case. So yeah, when I've got the cue snap, it won't fit very well in this, but just to keep storage, it's fine. Um, next, I have an oldie. In fact, my new oldest whip. Or is it? it might be the second oldest, which is Darth Vader, um, which I was making for my son. Um, who still wants it? So we're doing all right here. <laughs> I think it's about two years old, maybe more. Um, but I'm starting to make progress on it. I need to come back to it again, actually. Put some more stitches in it. I haven't picked it up in August. Last time I picked it up was... Ooh. Oh, this is hard. Ooh. Yep, so I've come down more in his face. You can see there's a lot of hanging threads. Um, I'd already stitched this bit. Um, and I use the... It's the one that's like fishing line, but like really hard plastic. I can't remember what it's called. It'll come to me, I'll put it um, either on screen or down below. Um, so I kind of... <sighs> started doing a bit more of the like full coverage techniques um, 
I wouldn't quite say it's royal rows. I'm doing square by square going across. Um, but also, if there's a chunk of colour that comes down, keep keep going with that or parking it, um, depending on how I'm feeling. And then um, I dug out my little, I think they're called bobbies. There's some Martin Hall. I could not remember what they're called. I had to do a Google image search to find them. <laughs> Came with some interesting suggestions um, but I did get there um, so yeah he looks really good on camera he's on a um, it was a kit which came with Ada like dark grey Ada um, but I changed it to a 25 black Lugana yeah I haven't got a tag with me um, so yeah, hoop it, well, yeah, there's a lot, there's a fair bit in the page I'm doing, so I'm doing, if you split it in quarters up here, there's not much over there, but there's a lot down here, but I think it's quite blocky, um, well, some of it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I'm using the um, kit threads for that. I think I think they are a DMC, but they don't. It doesn't say that they're DMC. So while I was picking out old whips that I hadn't worked on this year, so that was, that was one of them. Um, my next one was Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Um, Hello Sunshine Sal. I started as a Sal and I did part one and I put it down. So that's the blurred out image that we got as part of the kit. I didn't use a kit fabric. I decided to continue with um, 18 count fabola. Needless to say, I am feeling a bit better about it, but I, it's like, it's like doing full coverage in 25 count. You can't, you've got to go all the way down and come all the way back up, otherwise your stitch slips, but just on a chunkier basis. That doesn't use, uh, I'll get into a big mess here. <laughs> Not as organised as normal. Um, so I've now completed part two. So part one had already been done. I'd already started on part. Or had it? Maybe I've done all of part two. Yeah, there was. A, I think it was like a leaf or something missing. So that's what part two looks like. So there's five parts to this, I think. Um, so my goal is to, every time I pick it up, stitch apart the cell. Um, and that's the same for the next couple of projects. Um, yeah, so I've got two more projects like that, where there are cells and they're already put into parts. Uh, and I'm using the um, kit DMC for that. So my next cell that I've got, I haven't got a cover photo for, um, I have to insert one, um, is a Love Quilts cell, which is a, so Love Quilts are a Facebook group, they're a charity, they make quilts um, for children that are severely um, disabled or ill. Um, so they make it like a, a nine block pattern uh, quilt to what the kid likes um, and one of them's got like a name bit on um, that they bought out a sal um, 
November, October, November. And I did the first part apart from some of the back stitch and then put it down. Um, I don't I don't think I was resistant to full coverage. I just I couldn't quite don't know. <laughs> but you'll see I've suddenly I'm picking up full coverage no problem and then putting it down and picking up something completely different. Um so here is this. Um so at the minute let's move that out of the way. At the minute all of part one is done um, and then I'm on part two which is a lot of block stitching so I've gone all the way around this um, there's a castle to go here I think in this part there was only like five colours maybe whereas obviously this was a lot of confetti I absolutely love this frock um, but yeah I have two boys I'm the only girl in my house so the chances of me having this up and making it look pretty are very slim um, so uh, I look to get this finished um, and send it off along with um, my Black Panther um, which I'd already stitched um, I need to check the dimensions on that if you're interested in making a block visit their website I'll put it down below um, it's a certain size fabric so it's got to be either 14 or 16 count white Ada it's Weigart um, and stitched in I think it's just DMC or Anchor because um, they, they need to be washed and they get washed quite a lot as well um, you do have to wash and iron it before you send it in um, but all the details are down below um, you have to have tons of questions to join the Facebook group. You can only use um, stuff that they have license for. Um, yeah, and that is that. <laughs> They're only for love quilts purposes as well. Um, right, so next I picked up another old, I want to say abandoned wit. I never got the hang of it last year. So I started this last year with um, Danielle um, Cardiff Stitcher, which is Heaven and Earth, Beach Bliss. I always want to say that the other way around uh, by Amy Stewart I'm not sure if this is still available it's a story keep version and I chose to do this on a 25 count Ligana well not Ligana, Easy Weave um, one over one full cross and yes I have got a tight margin on it <laughs> which is something I regret now but never mind um, I'm not I'm not restarting. Um, so yeah, last time you saw it, I had just those two blocks in. That's it. And then some that's ravelled up down here. Um, so I've gone all the way across. Um, and obviously um, I'm kind of semi row royal rows doing it um but as you get across the page i kind of drifted off down and across to the side um at the minute i'm doing 100 stitches a day on this um which will take me over two years to finish unless i put some extra stitches in at some point um and some days i quite happily do it and other days I, I don't stitch so I end up doing catching up um, but yeah getting on with this now um, and I'm enjoying it um, I think that once I got started I was all right so I tried two over one tent stitch uh, 
oh what full I tried the full cross two over two no <laughs> way too thick um the coverage is okay on 25 count um the further away you are the better it looks um don't think my eyes are quite adjusted to trying to do this on 28 count yet but never say never um so here where start patches is halfway across the pattern so I've got all that to go and then it's extremely long um, I am currently at two and a half percent but like I say it's it's this plus what's down below stitching that in all the call for DMC um, I did look at all the thread usage before I purchased the DMC that I needed but like I said I kitted it up based doing it over two over two full cross and now I'm doing it one over one full cross so I will have excess left at the end that's fine you can <laughs> I'll use it um, so the reason I put it down last time is because I re suddenly realized I didn't have one thread um don't know why these are hanging somewhere that says oh there it is why well, they've gone through the hook they're all the threads I actually love all the colours there's quite a lot of green because there's the green branches and then you get into the sandy colours as well and then there's just the bright pops of pink and red and blue. Uh, next piece is another cell, uh, which is last of my wits. If you've watched me for a while, had I, I think, hmm, it's one of the old ones, it's like three or four from the list, well maybe a bit later than that, I started Crystallise Sal um, by Lakeside Needlecrafts. I did keep up until, hmm, I think it was so quartz I think we started here and went that way I know I think then we jumped up to here and down so at the minute I'm doing this one last time you finished it I was part way through this one <laughs> sorry someone's at the door um, husband's getting it um so yeah so now I'm trying to so I've got this one to finish and then these three and I'm done um I must feel uh, the the color completionist in me is feeling very satisfied by knocking them off as we go along um so that's where I'm up to with that I'm not going to take it off the hoop Ooh, but that's where I am um a lot of colours in this one. Um, so yeah, they're the so I've got six, seven finished ones, and still quite a few to go on here. Oh, and that's about. Oksana Popliakov. I think she's done a couple of um, patterns for the side. I have got the needle minder with. Um, and then because I finished the Santa stocking, I promised myself I would do something else for the husband, Ooh. which is the Lindsay Farn. Um, Death and Binky, which is a Terry Pratchett reference. Um, so I ordered this as a chart off eBay from the designer's uh, account. Uh, 
and I am not sure which way is up because it's a pitiful start. <laughs> um, I've noticed I can't do it in the evening because the navy and the black are so close in colour you can't see the difference. Um, so that's where I'm up to. Um, and this is a 32 count even weave summer cloud sky by Fabric Flare. Um, and I think I did get this from Lakeside Needlecraft as well. Um, and that's my Caterpillar Cross Stitch Needle Minders. <laughs> There's quite a few of them. They're, they are really good. Uh, I just wanted to mention this project, um, which is the one I said I've decided to UFO it, um, which is the I'm Not Coming Sal. So it should look like that. Mine does not. <laughs> um, yeah, piece of fabric. Bonus. Um, I chose to do this on a smoky blue 36 count linen um, by Zweigart with not quite all the called for DMC because lockdown um, and then randomly I would go off and put the house in the wrong place um, and then these words are one over one um, and I just couldn't cut with one over one and 36 count, so I've decided to UFO it. Um, I was trying to force myself to do a little bit each day on the words, but there's other things that need to do get done on it. Um, like I said, the house isn't in the right place, I've got to move the wording up so it fits. Um, the flowers need filling in. Um, so the substitutions I've made, I've made a note of, but yeah, that's where that one's at and is staying. Um, so that was a sow, that I'm not coming sow, which was last year. Um, Charlie Feathers, I can't think of your channel, channel Charlie, I'll we'll put it on screen, <laughs> um, it was a uh, pattern by Posey, it is still available I think. I'm not saying I won't ever stitch it, whether I might restart it, possibly. I like all the colours and everything, it's just that one over one stitching. Um, I'll zip that up. Um, I'll do plans and then I'll do a haul and maybe a little bit more life at the end. Um, so in terms of plans, I'd like to carry on doing the 100 stitch a day on Beach Bliss Sal. Um, finish my sampler book letter for this month. Crystallise, I'd like to get that part finished that I've started. Um, and then I'd actually like to finish my Mill Hill Halloween Eve kit, um, which will then bring my whipped up count down to 25. Um, I'm hoping I can get one, if not two more finishes before the end of the year. Looking at my whip list, there's a lot of big projects on there, which are either sort of around 50% or like low 20% and then obviously you've got Beach Bliss Sal which is like 2.5% um, but it's a bat for me so um, um, and obviously my sampler book I'm continue will continue into middle of next year something like that um, so yeah there's a few things I'd like to I'd like to start I don't want to start any more until I've finished 
um, at least two more. Um, and in terms of, I'm not going to do a Christmas Day start. Um, I'm desperate to start Glitter Village, but I got so yeah. I've got the Christmas wreath. I've got the Gingerbread Village, and I've got Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. That's a contender that could get finished so that I can start Glitter Village, <laughs> possibly. Um, which I you'll see in haul. I've finished kitting that up. Yes. Um, and um, I'd like to start um, my Merabelia, I think, as a new year, new start. Um, and then I don't know what I'll do in February, which is when my birthday is. Um, yeah, I'm trying to keep the whip count to 25. <laughs> um, I've also brought in, like I said, originally I was keeping the Love Quilt cell separately. Um, but it just wasn't getting worked on so I've brought it into the main 25 and then I've got a project to work on for um, a relative that's not cross stitching anymore um, so I need to get some work done on that really but it's an it's difficult to work on but I think I've figured out the best technique in terms of looking at the chart and marking it off which is I've taken a picture like a photograph, load it onto good notes, expand it as much as you can. Um, the highlighter doesn't work brilliantly, so I've got like a really dark pink on it. But because of it's a colour chart, it's shiny, uh, I can either try and use the pink highlighter or like black it out. So I might try either of those options. Um, just to try and get a bit more progress on that. Um, yeah, I think film night. I think I might do love quilts tonight. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe alternate between those two. I need to pick it up and get going again. I think it's at the minute it's the fear of getting on with it again. A bit like with the Darth Vader and the Beach Bliss Cell. But once I've done Darth Vader, I was away with the Beach Bliss Cell then. <laughs> um, so it's worth picking up those whips that you haven't touched in ages is what I'm trying to say um, and my goal for this year is to touch everything that I bought from last year into this year and I think there's one one or two projects I haven't touched I think I think it's the remember me is the only one I haven't touched I can't remember what the other one is um, so yeah, that's that's my goal for the year. Um, haven't got any more plans. So stitch what I love, <laughs> um, or what I feel like stitching. I keep flip, flip flopping a little bit. I think it's probably because I'm doing hundred stitches a day on the beach bliss, and then wanted to pick something else up. But still trying to make sure I finish on the sal stuff finish your block before I move on. So editing Natalie, I went and said oh I'm going to edit this out hauls next but <laughs> I didn't say if you don't want to stick around for haul um, thank you if you like what you see like and subscribe um, I'd love to hear from you so if you want to put a comment um, can't guarantee I'll be straight back to you but I'll definitely be back to you um, uh, and thank you. Um, so shall we get on with some haul then um so like i said i was doing all right and then it all went wrong um so when i was working off darth vader um lighting is key especially in the evening so i picked up myself actually it's actually a second one of these so i do recommend it um i'll put the amazon link below it's not um it's not a big expenditure and it will get around your key snap as well. Battery life is quite good. Um, it's got different brightness settings. Um, so yeah, recommend. Um, I decided to pick up 
some metal tins off Amazon with the idea of putting a magnet in um, and doing something similar to Kerry when she's working on something with a single colour just threading up some needles and sticking them in there and then just sticking it in my project bag it's a set of three on Amazon if I can find the link I'll show you show you link it below these things that I couldn't remember the name of Bobby's um, how many is in the pack? eight um, these are on Amazon I can't remember why I decided to pick up two bags <laughs> um, I think because I was going to do blocks of ten and then wrap them round on my Darth Vader and I thought oh I might need some more for that Beach Bliss so I'll, I'll pick some more up um, so they're just like little <laughs> so you just wrap it round there and then push it closed so that one side stays relatively flat and the other side is a soft stuff where the squishy so it sits inside and they're good for keeping it out of the way um, when you're trying to do full coverage or it's quite dense stitching uh, sorry to wind it back on <laughs> yeah so at the minute I think I've got too many on there <laughs> Yeah, when we get sort of down down towards the bottom, it might be useful to have some more. You never know. I might even start with the full coverage. <laughs> Do I? Um, yeah. I just remembered some more. <laughs> uh, right. So uh, my thread club came for. Classic colour works. Yeah. <laughs> so this is actually August. I've paid for September, but it's not arrived yet. Um, sorry, I haven't got my board. Um, so these are like S's. Um, so I'm up to S U. So I'm definitely they're at like the back end of the alphabet now. <laughs> I don't know how many more I've got to go actually. Um, next is my fabric club, which um, is with Lakeside Needle, was with Lakeside Needle Craft, and this is called Ancient Scroll. So this one's 36 count. And this is the 28 count. I think it's getting blown out. It's like um this one tends to be the dark one. Oh yeah, that's not showing anywhere near as it's a lot um there's a lot more contrast in real life. Get it a little bit there. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I've actually decided to um stop my fabric of the month club with lakeside um just because I've, I've got i've got too much now um and i want to try some hand dyes well i love fabric flair um i, I want to try some of the hand dyed ones and um some of the fabrics i've had i've not wanted to use so i probably need to de-stash some of those there is a pile to do stuff um, as well as the pile next to your whips um, but I'm not organised with that enough yet to, to get going on it um, I on a, I'm on a couple of Facebook groups for de-stashing um, so at some point I'll pop up on there um, I mentioned that I'd kitted up I've already opened this so, um, the cottage garden 
Oops. Um, Country Cottage Needleworks Glitter Village. Um, so they're all in here. Um, which was an order I placed with Nimble Thimble. That's before Christmas, actually. Sat on it that long. Um, I ordered that from the Wool Warehouse, which is the um, Belfast. I think it's a 32 count linen in raw silver. Yeah, 32 count. Pretty, yeah, it's the linen. It's, it's definitely slubby. Um, so that all that calls for um, classic colour works. If you go onto their website, it tells you how much thread you need to complete the series, um, which is really useful actually. Um, as well as their, I think it's got on the DMC conversion as well. Um, so I decided um, I was going to use all the classic colour works. I <laughs> have bought them separate to the. Um, Thread club that I've got. Um, so these are the so there's two of the four leaf clover. And these these two are they're definitely a lot different on the screen compared with real life. Um, but I think I'm just going to work with it. I might compare with what it's like in my um, club. But I think it's a little bit on a few charts, so I think I can maybe get away with it. Um, um, cobbled peach, cherry tomato. It looks a bit more like lobster to me. <laughs> yeah, not not red enough. Um, brown hen. These are hard to show today. Um, blue beard, oh, that's better. Lettuce leaf, love that colour. Um, pink posy, which I've used before. Pebble beach, uh, and gingerbread. And then the one you need the most of, um, they only had one or two in stock and I needed six so I didn't order that at that time um, but I did order a random DMC because I'd run out of it um, I not used to use 28 count all the time but since discovered the benefit of using a slightly bigger needle it doesn't tear the fabric as much when you're pulling it through it uh, the thread as much when you're pulling it through um, so I picked up some 26s um, and I also picked up after saying I stopped my fabric of the month club um, some Zweigart mint splash Lugana which you can't see the splashes on it Ooh. where is it you're not you can kind of see it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I think a lot of you are uh, familiar with the mint splashes, but that's in the... Um... Oh, there you go. Yes, that's... Um... Is it aqua or mint? Splash Lugana, uh, and that's a 32 count. That's an even weave, I think, as well. But always wanted to stitch on that. Absolutely love the colour. Got no idea what I'm putting on it yet. Um, that's like I say. I'm, some of the fabric that I was getting the Fabric of the Month Club I was excited about. And others. Um, yeah. <laughs> they either weren't my bag or... I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should sort of like put them all out and, and, and take a photo. Um, with the 36 count, the one of, I've got another project which is Christmas List, which is on 36 count. So I have stitched on that one over two and I did like it. Um, but I might have gone a bit heavily invested in that and not started anything new yet. Um, 
for another reason. I didn't want to pay delivery just for one piece of fabric and I didn't want a bigger piece of fabric so I just decided to just stop. You know, there were other fabrics and, and places that I want to try. Um, the other thing that I wanted to cut up, like I said, I think I might start this for New Year, New, yeah, New Year, New Start, sorry, <laughs> banging on that. Um, I did pick up, I already picked up this, which is the called for um, chocolate linen, I can't remember if it was by Permin or not. I've just realised it's beautifully edged already, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, it definitely looks darker than it does in the picture. And it's quite stiff. Um, and last time you saw me, I picked up the Karen Water Lilies. Um, I actually had had a look at what um, beads I had already, so. I already had three lots of the beads. I think one I wasn't sure if I had enough of, so I did actually order some. Um, I realised that one of them was going to be a problem, um, so I did actually order off eBay. But they're actually um, they're not the Mill Hill branded ones, but they are Swarovski. Um, Swarovski Crystal Margarita Seed Beads 6mm Sapphire uh, Which are those ones? So I ordered them off eBay um, Quite happy with my delivery um, I'll put the details down below if I can And then I'll quickly go over this, but um, basically we've been sorting out our house. I went and opened one of my books that I hadn't touched in ages, found some birthday money in there, went and spent it on one, two, three stitch and a little bit of leg sides. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and some more. Yeah. Stitch from stash. Mm-hmm. So what did I get? Um, so, all the bees and crying for the Merabelia, apart from the ones I already had. Um, I did actually order an extra one of the Star Flake because I loved it so much. I wanted one of the staff. Um, so, yeah, all, so I've got two crying. I've not used crying before. They look quite quite small spools. I'm not sure how much stitching there's meant to be in there. Um, and then some of the beads are quite big, but I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I think it's like the um, chatelaine. It's like the fear of starting it, but you spend you know spent all this time kitting it up and looking forward to stitching it. Just stitch it. And don't stitch one over one on 36 count. Um, so I also bought from them the bamboo that I needed for Glitter Village. I ummed and ahed about just switching to DMC 3865. Um, I don't know if you can see that on camera. There is a subtle variegation to it. It's like a very not quite ecru coloration in it. Um, so I decided that I would stick uh, to the call for. Um, I picked up a Threadworks, um, which I've not used before. This is one one three zero. Um, I know they've got names. Uh, I'll put it down below if I can. Um, this wasn't available on the side, although they do have some, I think. But it's like a uh, grey, 
pinky um, and this was for a project that I've, I was thinking about stitching um, for my mother-in-law for Christmas um, I didn't want to do that, I need to get started uh, in which case I need some fabric to put it on as well I've got the charms, got the chart, no fabric don't think the mint splash would work no I think more like smoky blue maybe which sort of chart sort of looks like I can't remember what it's called for is on it um, I also picked up two colour and cottons while I was there because I just wanted to try try them so I picked up Heather and Antarctic I think if you had a red there that would be my three favourite colours <laughs> but, uh, I didn't pick out a red um, and then I've got some charts as well one Mill Hill kit because popcorn we always have pop I don't always have popcorn the kids always have popcorn the husband sometimes does on a Friday night for movie night so I thought I'd pick up that and yes I have got the Silver Creek sampler which I've kitted want to start not started um, yeah I can't cope with any more whips <laughs> space is an issue at the minute um, I also picked up the first two uh, beach beach broad work the third one's just come out as well um, but while I was on there I picked up those um, I also picked up my first Quirky Quaker which is Penguin I'd have thought about that but anyway <laughs> mm, yeah maybe um, so yeah I'll probably just convert it um, rather than use the ghast which is wrought iron so it calls for DMC 310 or 939 I'm not sure which one that is so yeah looking forward to that and that's a quick stitch as well so I could do that at swimming on a Sunday which is where I, I forgot a whip quite pleased so I'll show you next time <laughs> or I could insert a picture might edit in which case you've already seen this <laughs> things have fallen on the bed um, I also picked up introverted which is how I am in real life <laughs> yeah so far it's been no one's come across and said oh what are you stitching or anything like that which is fine I get the odd look and I'm just like I'm happy you're, in your, you're looking at your phone I'm looking at this it's fine <laughs> Um, so that's introverted and uh, the Lucy Beam buying cross stitch like I'm immortal definitely going to be a bag of some description um, so when I'm gathering all this haul and spending all my money um, you might remember this one um, so yeah, that's where it all lives and I've realised there's another piece of fabric in there. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, which is that sage green Murano that I talked about last time, but I don't think it arrived. Um, potentially for that Holly by Heritage Crafts as a restart. Um, and then the last bit from 123 Stitch definitely not the last piece of all um, I decided to get Midnight Watch my Blackbird designs and I don't know what it is about Halloween we don't we're not we don't particularly go out our way to celebrate Halloween but I feel drawn to stitching Halloween as well as Christmas and owls and penguins not as much as um oh Chloe um cross stitch penguin so I was watching that last night nice to see you on on screen again Chloe um, if you haven't checked her out and you love penguins, go and check her out. I'll link her down below. Um, so, yeah. 
um, and then Instagram came along and it was a I want it now so um, Camping Cross Stitcher released this I think it was the first or second chart um, and I had to have it um, I, in my mind I've picked out the fabric um, I hadn't picked out the threads but I kind of had an idea of what I want to do which is similar to what's on here but I was going to stitch it on a flax uh, 32 count that I had left over from the sampler book um, like I say I want to keep the width pile down so it kind of got printed and put to one side and then she went and released another one <laughs> um, uh, so I'll just read out this one um, now I sit in now I sit down in my chair my needle and floss and fabric are there I stitch and calm by my side bit but ugh. I stitch and calm my busy mind whenever I can find the time sorry I've just butchered that <laughs> um, and then this one is stash stitcher it's all stash once it's added to the cart sums up the uh, video really <laughs> um, and right so I've had a little baby in my ear encouraging me to do something yeah the sewing marks I've ordered one it's a black one um, I can put the link down below I haven't started work on it yet as you can see these just come out easily I think these might be a little bit more glued in um, but my idea for this it's not quite properly it's going to be a friends one so I've got some friends fabric um, that I can stick in um, I might use some like red like mini polka dot um, as well um, and I bought so that's like a pin um, I'm not sure I turn it into a needle mine because it's quite small and I also picked up key ring which got like a little jellyfish this is on Amazon I think it was Amazon uh, if you were stung by a jellyfish I would totally pee on you and if you know you know <laughs> um, so I might put that as a charm when I eventually make that project bag that I bought the friends fabric for but been too nervous to actually make um, I also picked up this massive thing which I thought could be used as a thread drop not thread drop I want to say thread bling but yeah don't google that um, key rings do make good ones though. Um, but it's a bit big to sit in here at the minute um, I could as a scissor fob it's the other thing I tend to use things like that for um, and I've already got an idea of what I want to do for the scissor fob with the beads um, I think I've shown you one mm, I think it's downstairs um, but yeah I'm going to make some uh, make a scissor fob um, with the Liz Lizzie <coughs> there's too many Lizzie's I'll put your name up <laughs> behind Elizabeth sorry uh, with her tutorial did Frizzy Lizzie get stitches? no Frizzy Lizzie cross stitch yeah <laughs> recommend that channel as well <laughs> And Danielle at um, Cardiff um, Stitcher um, does a lot of full coverage. So if you like full coverage, definitely a place to look at that. And my last purchase, which came yesterday, is a Sobeeg's bag. I couldn't resist the owls. As soon as it went up, I was like, I want that. I actually literally had an alert on my phone because I didn't want to miss. I missed the last two. Um, and it's just got this oops orangey fabric on the inside um cannot recommend enough 
but she's only selling on Instagram. So she'll sort of do like um, she, she'll flash some images of some fabric because all this is coming, um, uh, and she'll sort of say what time on, and it's normally a Friday. Um, so as soon as you see it and you put me please that's it <laughs> otherwise it's gone um, but yeah can fit my cue snap in there um, yeah I think it's the 8, eight inch um, and you can get the pattern in there like the A4 pattern in there as well and they're beautifully made um, always puts like a little button on the pull uh, and the lace so I think this is my third, yeah, third uh, Sobe bags um, and Pauline's really good, um, she sends you her PayPal link, um, you make the payment to her and she sends it out, no problem. Um, oh yeah, heaven and earth, might have gone on there when they were having a sale. And I was just willing to have a look to see what was around. Yep, I fell down that rabbit hole, didn't I? <laughs> um, if I get my phone out, I'm probably going to have to insert a picture of these. So, um, What did I pick up? I picked up um, another owl chart. Two owl charts, actually. Uh, Hade gone. Yeah, so Hade, um, Heaven and Earth. Uh, it's an American company. You can buy the PDF. So I think most of the time going to Pattern Keeper. Um, so I already had Stormy, which is oops. I'll show. I'll put a picture on. on. Um, so we had Stormy, and that is by uh, Michelle Marcetti. Um, sorry if I'm butchering your name. Um, and then I picked up the new, well, new to me. I think it might have been on there, on and off, um, which is Wisdom. Definitely got a thing about owls. So technically the first one I paid I purchased was Stormy. But I think I was a bit nervous of it because um Teresa Little Stitcher had started it. I think she'd started in ten stitch and it wasn't looking the way she wanted it to. So I kind of put it down, being a little bit scared of it, and then started that Beach Bliss and yeah. Um I also um got uh, mini Lotus Owl, also by the same designer, and a charted by. Oh, okay, I've got that wrong. Um, so that's Anya Kai. A lot of like blues and purples in that one, uh, and Love Owls. Um, so the two, the Wisdom and Stormy, are from Critter Valley. So I presume the actual designer is Tom Allen. What's the other one say? So. Yeah. Um, and then I picked up. So these were all half price. I think like half price to like push you to make the purchase, and then the US dollar rate is better for us now to buy. <laughs> so it just adds into the. Um, what you're seeing and then I picked up Randall Spangler and I did look at look, doing one of these um, for the sale that um, it's gone I'll put it on screen and I've realised I've probably spent half my video like this so apologies um, maybe I put the camera a little bit high <laughs> um, so hit any key by Rangel Spangler, um, and then I also picked up. Oh, hit 
hit any key which is also a mini it's like a long mini technology meltdown you know the feeling um, and also I didn't know this but there's some freebies on heaven and earth design as well um, and I picked up Sheena Pike uh, sea turtle mama um, and it's so it's yeah it's quite a big piece so 15 inches on 25 count yeah by 11 so mm. but gorgeous colours um, so yeah I picked up those PDFs I've not printed them out they're just sat in my um, files so what I normally do with PDFs is I'll print out the cover sheet got it in a folder and then if I feel like starting something new but I'm not sure I'll have a look through those rather than in and out all the folders that I've got on my phone um, and some so I've uploaded those Hade ones to Pattern Keeper actually um, already um, but yeah um, need to, I've got quite a few things kitted and then quite a few charts both PDF and physical copy um, it'd be nice to start some of them and some of them are calling to me to be fair um, not as well as the ones that I've just the two that I've just kitted um, three actually if you include the oh, I've got, I've got fabric for that one which is the one with the thread works um, which is um, cro crocheting crocheting that doesn't sound right <laughs> um, um, so yeah um, definitely to start rummaging through that so I promised myself sort of no new starts until I've got two done and then I want to finish the year on 24 so I could do the 24 for 24 and then on in terms of getting down to 24 whips by 2024 and then New Year's Day start the Merabelia brings me back up to 25 um, if I can get below 25 bonus I can't see it happening um, but the one the piece that I wanted to do uh, for my mother-in-law I think should be a relatively quick stitch I just need to get the fabric for it um, and I am rambling um, yeah so I mentioned at the start of the video um, we've completely redecorated we've actually done three rooms um, so my kids were sharing a room and then we had a spare room which is where the desk was and the spare bed and then we had like a TV den room so now we have two kids bedrooms and one office um, so my son my eldest son now gets a TV in his room which I'm absolutely delighted about he's 11 and just started secondary school which I'm not quite sure is equivalent to high school um, but he's good yeah he's enjoying it um, the other one <laughs> the other one went back to school uh, wasn't enjoying it but now he's like oh my brother's not here anymore <laughs> um, so yeah all good uh, didn't really get well we got up to a few things during the summer um, but we didn't go abroad or anything um, main focus was basically rearranging the house um, and we still got quite a bit of decluttering to do um, so I need to get on with that um, not just my stuff so um, we still got a lot of the old kids toys um, clothes things like that so we're fully abandoning um, kidsville basically um, there's no more um, <laughs> so yeah just trying to have a talking to a work colleague it's like trying to sell your house but without selling your house like just trying to get like get rid of the stuff that you accumulate we've been in this house 12 years it's time um, and that's not just me and the kids and the husband we did not well I knew I don't think my husband did 
just how many DVDs we've got and DVDs are a thing of the past nearly um, but I some of them you can sell a lot of them I'm gonna have to give away which is fine um, it's just it, they take up so much space and I think most people just stream or buy digital copies these days um, so yeah there, there are some things we both want to keep which is fair enough we can put them in there we have got a, a blu-ray player still and we've got the playstation so we can put it in there um, so yeah um, works fine like I say kids are back at school so all good there which is why I've not recorded up till now I'm in the half light keep turning my head <laughs> um, I think that's it before I ramble anymore um, if you like what you see like and subscribe I did debate whether to do a whip whip parade but I think it's that late now it's too late um, and you've seen half my whips anyway today um, so yeah I think it definitely will be um, between Christmas and New Year that I do that um, and then hopefully in terms of when I'm coming back two to three weeks maybe try and get one in before the end of September at least um, hopefully well I don't the only thing that might be a potential finish is Halloween Eve but definitely progress on everything else hopefully not maybe not all 24 whips that are left besides that though but um, I'm not 25 I'm at 26 at the minute um, why was that I think it's because I started something yeah I got a bit carried away with my starts and then kind of edged up to 33 and then I've come back down again um, I mean there are quite a few long term whips in there which I'm fine with um, but I think it's just having that momentum to pick them up every so often so maybe I need to think about a semi rotor I am thinking about doing whip go next year as well again after failing twice <laughs> um, so we'll see um, but it might be stitch a block on this cell or stitch a block on that cell and then sort of like use them as a long term goal for the year um, yeah I think I had things like make a project bag which I did do not this year last year and I can't remember I oh no, I've definitely done work go twice because I remember being a bit too ambitious the first year <laughs> um, um, but I wasn't on floss tube that year um, but anyway, I'm definitely rambling. I'm definitely going to go. I don't know when this video is going up. So the heat wave might be over by the time it goes up. So sorry, folks. Um, and uh, I hope you have some good stitchy time. Stitch what you love. And don't look at that thing going, I hate you. UFO it. <laughs> right, bye for now.